This demonstration represents the introduction of a brilliant and wonderful technology where the fuel is utilized rather than blown out the tailpipe to cause more uh, pollution. And the way that it works is it burns it way more efficiently because unbeknownst to most people, liquid doesn't burn and only vapor burns. We're going to show you here that we completely disconnect the liquid to the engine. The gas line going to the carburetor will be completely disconnected and the motor, believe it or not, in this F-250 four-wheel drive truck with a 351 cubic inch displacement motor will roar and drive around on vapor, I'm talking fumes, dry vapor and vapor only with not one drop of liquid going to it. This is very revolutionary and very shocking to see and means a promise for greatly improved emissions and greatly improved mileage. These are things that we all need and I'm sure that uh, everyone will agree to that. There is a precedent with Mitsubishi showing that lean burn technology already exists that's not allowed in this country. We're showing here a retrofit invention that would mean we wouldn't have to buy our cars from Japan and we can enjoy these benefits here at a relatively affordable price. So let's get started by running the, uh, closing the gas line off to the carburetor. That's this line here. This is completely closed off now. And go ahead and he'll run the motor until the carburetor runs out of gas and won't start again. Go ahead. What you've just seen is the carburetor ran completely out of the fuel. Get the very last of it. Try to start it again. Alright, that's enough. Now you see it will not start because there is no fuel going to it. We completely disconnected the fuel line. So let's start it on paper. Get the charger. Turn the motor over. Now you see the motor running, but you're probably mystified as to whether it's truly running on vapor. So we pull it off. Only dry vapor coming out, no liquid. Go ahead and try to start the motor again. Stop. Now start it again. 